Hi everyone, this is Ann and I'm creating this tutorial for one of our members that's struggling to uh, trace a Mickey, uh, Carrie Linderman. So Carrie, just follow this and I think that it will help you out with uh, some of the tracing of the coloring book images uh, like the Mickey Mouse. So all I did was I brought this in, I did a copy and pasted it into an empty document in Inkscape and with it highlighted I'm just going to go to path trace bitmap and I'm leaving this threshold here at 45 I don't do anything at all with scans down here to the bottom doesn't matter to me if it's color or it's black and white I leave all of that out I work strictly with the threshold and 45 says that this should be a good trace for you without problems. Sometimes you have to increase it, the number to get things to be darker. Sometimes you have to decrease it in order for it to light up. But this 45 is probably going to work for the images that uh, you will want to trace. So all you do is just say OK. And then you can X out of the preview and now it's traced it so all I have to do is just move it over to the side this is the original I know that because I see the blue down there so I'm just going to move that over to the side and bring this mini back uh, to the uh, canvas area which is a rectangle or a square sometimes it's, it's more of a rectangle shape and with it highlighted now that I've traced it and everything looks good I want to break it apart. I want to break it into a lot of pieces because I'm going to cut it and uh, make layers with it. So with it highlighted, I'll go back to path and break it apart. Everything turns black and that's exactly what it's supposed to do because that lets you know that all these pieces are now separated. And let's see if I can zoom in a little. All of these little dotted boxes that you see are bounding boxes and what they're doing is they're telling you that every little box that you see is a piece that you're going to be cutting with your uh, machine and so with all of this selected everything looks good you just click off of it and now what what you want to do is just start clicking on the pieces where all those little bounding boxes were so you can give it individual color so you click on the piece and that's this piece right here her bow and let's just make it red it's typically the color we will click around here i think that's the other side of our bow and so we'll make that red and then in the center it's red and for her face we see this wider box here that's going to cover her face and so uh, i like to use like the flesh tone here and so the next thing i'm going to do is click in here to try to find her eyes so i'm going to click once hold my shift key down and I'm going to click over here to look for the other eye. Now that I have both eyes selected, I'm going to go down to the color palette and just click on white. Her little tongue, probably this color. Well, wait, yeah, that's probably color. Let me go back to her face and maybe give her this flesh tone. So now make her tongue a little bit darker. It really doesn't matter because we could make her tongue green it's all about what the uh, physical piece of HTV or vinyl that you're going to put into your cutter. This only this is only important when you're going to do a print and cut. So let's see, we have our cute little dress here. So let's say that I don't know, I like yellow. Yellow is going to be a dress, and then this is one of her collars. I'm holding the shift key down, clicking on the other one. And so, uh, well, I guess I just can make that white. And then I have her little hands. So I'm holding the shift key down now to click on the other one. Uh, and make her little hands white. And so let's see, we've got, uh, I guess those are her gloves. So this is the cuff of the glove, looking off of it. And all I'm doing is looking for these various pieces that I can uh, highlight and color. If it takes color, then that uh, confirms that it is going to cut perfectly in your machine. So now I have her little shoe, and so that's this piece right here. Uh, and I'll just click uh, some brown. And if I don't remember the exact brown, again, it really doesn't matter unless it's printing and cut. 
But if for some reason I'm doing a print and cut and I don't remember which one of these browns I used uh, with it highlighted, all I have to do is click on my dropper tool. And if this was in color, I could just click on it and it would give me that color uh, brown. So we'll just leave that as is and let's see uh, what piece this is. Uh, and we're going to say that she's wearing red shoes. So let's just click in here and make that red. And so all I'm doing is just coloring these uh, pieces. And here we go. I want to make sure I use the same color heel. So I'm clicking there. And that was this little piece here. Going back to my select. So now I want to color the other part of her shoe. So with it highlighted, I'm clicking over here so that I have the exact same color. And then um, I know that that is this color red and I chose red in here. Uh, let's see, it looks like uh, with the little legs, I'll hold my shift key down and I click over here for this other leg and I'll go back to the dropper and just click on her face. So I have uh, the color of her legs and it looked like it was another little piece here. So I need to click over here for a leg and I'll go back to my dropper and then I'm just clicking anywhere that that color exists on this and so this looks like a little piece of her dress and then this inside piece right here and this inside piece so I'm hold I've clicked it I'm holding the shift key down I'm clicking here and I'm clicking the other piece and I'm going to make them yellow inside since her little dress was yellow and I think I've colored everything that's with her the name down here to the bottom I'm just gonna highlight it and hit my delete key so now a little mini just giving it a once over I think that I have colored all of the pieces in for her so now I can delete the original and at this point I'm just gonna highlight the entire little baby mini you see all the bounding boxes show up again and I'll go to object I could have did right click and group and since this group now and it's inside of the canvas box I'll go to file save as and I'll call her baby mini and I I'm just gonna save it to my desktop or wherever you save yours down here it defaults to Inkscape you want to click on the down arrow and select plain SVG and click save and now you have an SVG. I'm going to upload this to the group and I'll upload the video as well. If you follow this, you will not have any problem at all tracing any coloring book type image uh, that you find out there on the internet. I hope this helped you out.